Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can exclude commands in Linux from being saved in the command history, especially your password credentials. Let's dive in. There are a number of ways to exclude commands from being saved in the command history. You can add an environment variables to your bash profile using export. But in this tutorial, I will show you an easier way to exclude your specific commands from being saved in history. There are times that your organization is using the same username and password for your critical servers, and sometimes you have some other tasks that you need to implement. Let's say specifying a password string in your own Ansible project, and that string will be shown in the command history, and we don't want that to be seen by the other colleagues. Here's what you're going to do. So if we check the history command, history. So all the previous commands are being saved in the bash history. So let's say um, we are doing some Ansible task. And let's do a Ansible vault encrypt string. We specify password per se. One, two, three. And this is what we want to um, encrypt. So if we press enter, it will ask for our vault password. We enter the password. But if you check the history, anyone can see the command we used as well as the password on line 151. So anyone in the team can see the password I used. We can easily avoid that by adding a space at the beginning of the command. So the command can be ignored when saving to history. So let's say um, you press the space bar on your keyboard and then let's do Ansible vault again, encrypt string, and then let's say password one, two, three, and enter, enter. And if we check the history again, so the last command that we used um, is not showing anymore, right? It's excluded in the command history. So the password credentials that we specified is not showing here. What we used before um, is the password one, two, three. This was the command we used. So it's not showing anymore in the history. The other method is to modify the bash history file. So let's check that file. Let's check the location. And we do the list. And we are going to modify this file. Say vi that bash history. So if we go to the bottom. So as you can see, the the previous Ansible vault command is showing here, but the last Ansible vault command that we used is not showing, right? So um, let's say you want this to be excluded. So just remove that line, just press DD, and then save it. Escape, colon, WQ, exclamation. And then if you check the Bosch, cat Bosch history, the command Ansible vault is not showing anymore. However, there is a command vi shown in the history. So if someone see this, they will think that the bash history file has been modified to hide the commands by the previous user. You can avoid this by using the same method by specifying a space before the command. So before we do the vi command, let's put a space by bash history and then let's go to the bottom of the file and we can remove this by using dd you can also remove the cat bash history those lines those lines those lines and then escape colon wq exclamation to save it so if you check the history again you don't see the um, vi command 
in the command history. So the other method is to truncate the history file to remove its content without deleting the bash history file. So let's do this um, greater than sign and then the tilde and then the forward slash that bash history and then press enter. And if we check the file again, let's say CAT bash history, no content inside the file. If we check, if we do the history command, it's still there. So we need to lag out first and then lag back in. Then if you check the history, so the previous command that we used has been removed from the history. That's all for now. Thank you. <laughs>